Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video, I wanted to show you guys another really good keying setup and uh, some really useful tools. Which pretty much, if you have those, I think you should be able to do like any keying shot. Let it be like green screen or blue screen, whatever it is. So I got this from Action VFX. I already have the range set. As you can see, like this has lots of like hair details and you know all those things. So let's try to key this shot. I'm just gonna keep a frame somewhere here and I also got this background just a image from Google just like a warehouse so let's uh, I'll show you like how I usually start keying any shot and this is like another method I also have another keying video in my channel like if you guys haven't checked that you can actually go and check that but you don't have to necessarily use one single method for any shot my point is to actually make the key look better you know whichever works for each shot you can actually do like different methods I do use Use some tools from Nukepedia for this. We'll leave the links for all those tools in the description. You can download and use them. First, we have to remove the grain. I'm just gonna use the default denoise. That is good. First important thing for any key to get like a good key is to get a clean plate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a prime mat, then I'm gonna select the color somewhere here, and then clean up everything around it so something like that and then i'm going to use this tool called color dilate put this i'm going to connect the rgb to the plate and the mask to this and what happens is uh, go click invert mat pretty much does the same thing what an ibk color does but just a different formula you wrote this till i get like almost like all the details here because as you can see here we still have some details tell another way of what to do to cover all these things and i'm going to grow the texture i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna create a constant and then take a color like that put this under i'm gonna bring the alpha to that and then i'm gonna put the green under that something like that we have our clean plate here and then now i'm gonna go and take a ibk gizmo so you don't necessarily have to use ibk color to use ibk gizmo so you can create the clean plate however you want and then connect the c to that then our fg the next thing what we're gonna do is also connect the bg because we're also going to use the rgb information from this changes to green so as you can see it's already like almost there and i'm going to change this to 0.35 both of these because in that way we get more details you know it doesn't make it too harsh so i always like to keep it at 0.35 and because we only need the uh, edge for on this so we don't really care about what's happening inside and i also click luminance match so that itself is pretty much a good result there and i'm gonna turn on both pg luminance and bg chrome so once i do that you can see we can see information from the bg i'm gonna do a merge here as you can see we can uh, see all that bg information once we turn the luminance on we can adjust later always it's pretty good this but we need our core now. so take a primat so i'm gonna take this this is a good core i'm gonna do a erode pxf erode i think it's called pixel fudge they have like lots of tools but they're not available on nukepedia they're available on their own website i'll also put these links down so yeah i'm gonna do and erode this Thing like that so this is gonna be our alpha and for rgb i'm gonna use a tool called dispel madness and then already does a pretty good job but i'm gonna turn on the offset a little bit kind of like bluish area we don't actually have any like kind of green spill except for probably like the edges but which is which is good and i'm gonna do a key mix so this entire setup is based on key mixes so you know we're gonna choose different areas and use different methods for each area so and then i'm gonna connect the t spill to this since it's a key mix we need a need a complete alpha so i'm just gonna add an alpha to this then I'm going to connect this as the mask. So now if we go here and if we choose this, we got the core on top of this. And then if we see here, it does look weird because our core mat is not good. No, we don't want this much. So I'm going to adjust this I'm pretty much take everything. I don't want anything like extra. As you can see, like we did get a lot of these details here, but we can still do better. Or right, in this case, I'm going to turn this off and see how it looks 
because that's taking off lots of details we're gonna see what we can do with the or instead of the px of road i'm just gonna use the road filter keep like that i'm gonna do a edge blur and it's a, the whole point is like trial and error you just try different things and whichever works you use that gonna erode this even more and then increase the blur so now we can see we are getting a good amount of details already and because we used the primat here it's kind of not working well for the specific example so i'm gonna see if the ibk color works better so we can just go to zero then Try to adjust the dark and light till it breaks. Yeah. Something like that. And then probably erode a little bit. And then we can keep that. And then must like take this extra stuff. I'm just gonna put a roto manually. Just add these extra hairs here. Cancel that. And then now we're just gonna patch this. I'm just gonna start to erode that in. Might work better than that, I guess okay so we have this i'm just gonna use this here yeah i feel the alpha is much better than this we don't have those hard edges coming there i think i'm just gonna use this one okay there's also a tool called uh, alpha clean it's available on a github on this side i'll put the link down yes this is also a pretty good tool but we cannot use it extensively so as you can see that pretty much takes up all the details yeah that works takes up all the noise and stuff so i think it should work but it only cleans up the alpha you know we, we don't get any update with the rgb for that so you can see it's good i'm just going to see how it looks i can definitely do better so this is a pretty good start always you know once you start adding like different gears make sure your core is at the bottom i'm gonna use a key light now it's not really good in generating alphas but it's really good to get like rgb values so i'm gonna key mix that again like just for like this part and then i get this on top we really get a lot more details with the key light and obviously we have to do something about the alpha because we cannot use it just like that and if this again doesn't work there's another method which we can use on the bg we have the t spill and then we have the clean plate here so i'm just gonna basically add the diesel to the clean plate so we get this and this and i'm just going to divide this so this is called uh, div mul and uh, minus plus it does work not, again not always so here we put that on the bg and then i change this to multiply and then we get a little bit of details there and then the same way we're gonna do a minus and plus so we're gonna do a minus so you get something like that then we do a plus and put a grade the grade is just to like adjust the clamp so that like it doesn't get too burnt out like this and as you can see we do get most of the details here so if you put this over so without these two you can see uh we are getting lots of details there this doesn't have an alpha this purely works only for the edges you can actually turn off the multiply you know like sometimes both of these work and sometimes only one of these work so in this case we are getting good details with just the minus plus so we don't actually need uh, the darks here usually we use div mult to bring the darks and minus plus to bring the lights so in this case we can see we brought lots of these highlights here and you can just mask them by just having the edges you know pretty much any key can be done with this initial setup move forward by adding like extra keys and you know different methods and key mixing that with rotos you cannot key a shot with just like one key here that doesn't work that way move a little bit i did grade the bg a little bit so i bring that in the reformat and we can see we did get pretty much all the details here I brought back the grain from the plate and you can see all these edges and stuff we don't actually have to grade or do anything you know because we are doing it in a way where it actually picks up the color by itself so we don't actually have to brighten it or darken it or do all that 
we can pretty much get all the details we want we do see some kind of a green spill here but that's mostly coming from we need to adjust the core spill a little bit more decrease a little bit of green from this now we don't have that that's actually like the d spill balancing which we have to do maybe for some shots this would be enough this actually has a long frame range so you know i don't think it's gonna work you know we get some artifacts like this i think it's coming from the plus yeah that's the reason we should like mask it or wherever we want so that we don't get these artifacts i'll just go through the tools once again uh, first tool is uh, color dilate this is a really good uh, despill tool the despill madness another one is alpha clean there's another tool called uh, clean screen so it's called screen clean so whenever you know some footages they might have like folds or different shades of like blue or green you know it's not consistent in those cases you can actually use this connect the plate to this i mean create a clean plate how you used to how we did connect the clean plate to that and then if you do this it actually cleans up all these change the other two to zero get like a flat green screen but again in this two we do lose very minute hair details and then use a key light on that our entire key will change we did have like so much of noise and white stuff here but right now if we use the screen clean and use this then you know we do get like pretty good details here one more tool is dash green which is again available on nukepedia but i'll do a separate uh tutorial on dash green how to like actually bring back the same plate grain again so try this out i'll put all the tools links in the description you can download that you just need an account on nukepedia so you can sign up and you can start downloading and also if you have any questions and if you feel like i can do something better uh, than this setup definitely comment down below yeah i'll see you guys with another uh, tutorial see you guys till then it's manish bye bye